Viewer discretion is advised. Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to LSPDFR. Today we're going to be with the railroad police. Yes, you hear that right, railroad police. Now you might be thinking, what the hell can you do on LSPDFR with the railroad police? Well, I'm going to show you. We actually just had a call of a train derailment up just by Sandy Shores here. Checking to make sure there's no trespasses or nothing on the lawn, making sure the tracks are all set to go. But we're going to be making our way down to this train derailment that we got with one of our uh, actual trains. It said this is possibly occupying the highway. But check it out. I got this awesome Canadian National uh, ped made by Candace. It looks awesome. Finally had a use for this uh, Canadian National Police ped, which is like the Canadian National Railway ped. Got this awesome Crown Vic made by Izik. And this texture made by Muddy for Go, uh, Go uh, Railroad Police, which I think is amazing. So basically right now we're going to be en route to that location, Code 3 right now, just because it is a train wreck, a derailment with us. Um, they said that fire and EMS is already on the scene. I honestly think I'm going the wrong way. Yep, I took the long way around, so we're going to flip around here and we're actually going to go this way. So yeah, we're going to keep going this way. Do you want a code 3 response? It's all the way down near Sandy Shores. So I'm not really 100% sure what to expect. They said it might honestly be occupying the uh, uh, highway there. So it definitely doesn't look like it's going to be a good derailment. Um, I know there's a curve that leads right into that highway over there. So I'm thinking it might have actually went off the curve there. Dumbass. So I'm not 100% sure what causes, but once we get there, we're going to see if we can try to determine what the uh, cause of the derailment is and everything, so. Alright, so we're just coming up to the uh, scene of the derailment up here. The tracks are just going to be parallel to the, to the uh, road here, so we're going to see if we can locate where the accident site is. I'm um, on the way there. First responders, fire department, and other police agencies are already on scene. So we're just going to be the railroad police that kind of... Yep, oh, that looks horrible right there. That looks absolutely horrible. We're going to have to cut across these lanes of traffic here. Yeah, that looks bad. 241 dispatch. I'm 23. 10-4. Let's see what we can concur from over here. Yeah, because that looks absolutely horrible right there. Oh, man. Yeah, it's dented up, scratched up. It's still running, though. Still running. Still running. We're gonna go assess the damage of our uh, train real quick, and then we're gonna go talk to the other units. No talk, assess the damage of our railroad here. Yeah, that train definitely. It looks like that might be the engineer, the conductor, or something. Um, yeah, definitely not a good sign. It is occupying the highway, barely. So, looks like they're still letting trains through. The route hasn't been shut down yet. Um, we got some well cars on the ground here that. The locomotive is completely tipped over. Um, other first responding units are on scene already. They're taking care of injuries and whatnot. We're just trying to assess the uh, train here and see what we can concur from it. Looks like there's some containers on the ground over here. This well car is kind of smoking for some reason. Looks like some cargo here from one of the cars might have fallen off of the uh, 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 rail car here. Looks like there's only a couple cars, and now there's more cars here. Looks like there's only a five-car train, so it's probably a short local or yard transfer or something. But yeah, this is definitely not a good scene. You got some on the ground here. It looks like it hasn't detached yet, which is good. Los Santos PD came all the way out here. Damn. So six-car. Okay, so a six-car train. Yeah, definitely a six-car train. Um... Yep, that looks to be the end of it. I want to concur that it's possibly 
What I'm confused about is why LSPD is here and not the sheriff. But that's none of my business. That's none of my business. Yeah, I just want to concur that it's got to be the uh, curve that occurs over here. As you can see, he went on the curve. Instead of taking the curve, he went straight down into the uh, highway. Is kind of what I can kind of concur as it what it is. Um, not 100% sure why the train cars would be derailed down there. Um, I kind of wish I could block the tracks off, but I can't. My thing is it went off the tracks there, but that doesn't really mean that the rail cars will be over here. Um, yeah, that's all I can, that's what I can concur from it. Is that it went off the tracks on the curve, possibly going too fast or something. And... Dispatch, suspect located. It hit the ground. They hit the ground hard. That's all I can concur from it. They're still letting uh, trains pass through. So, I mean, it, there's nothing really affecting on the tracks much. The tracks seem to be fine in proper condition, which is kind of the weird part to me. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm going to go talk to the uh, EMS here and kind of concur injuries and whatnot. Uh, yeah, this is definitely not a good sign. It's, uh, it's kind of smoking here. The engine's definitely smoking. Um, the engineer's on the ground over there. I'm not sure where the conductor is. If there is a conductor. I'm gonna go see. We'll talk to this paramedic here. What's going on? Hey, Officer Adrian Road Police. What's, uh, is this, who's, is this the engineer on the train? He was one of the ones, he was the only one in the locomotive. Only one in the locomotive. There should, there should have been two in the locomotive. What do you mean? Where was the other one? You don't know? Okay, uh, what's the injury wise? What's. Okay, he's got a concussion. Okay, so a concussion, a couple broken bones. Alright, yeah, it was a very nasty wreck over there. I kind of can concur what happened, but I'm not sure. So, uh, yeah, he's had a concussion and a couple broken bones. He's gonna need life flight. Oh boy, that's not a good sign. Attention, this is dispatch. All right, he's gonna need life flight. Um, human organ for transport. That's definitely not a good sign. Um, what are you doing? Just kind of drinking coffee, man. Hey, what's going on, bud? What can you tell me? What happened? Or do you know what happened? Or can you give me like a rundown on what happened? Here's that CN police. It looks awesome. I love the badge that they put on it. So yeah, kind of what I was thinking. It went off the curve there. You're, so he's another CN police. So that's awesome. That's good. That's a good sign. He's another uh, go local police department. So you're thinking it went off the curve too. That's exactly what I was thinking, to be honest. Uh, this is kind of the way it looks. It looks like it did go off the curve there. Um, that's the only thing I can think of. Now, the paramedic said there's only one person in the cab. Uh, do you know where the conductor is? I believe that's the engineer, but do you know where the conductor went? Hold on, is that a body down there? No, I think he might have jumped out and fled. So he might have jumped out and fled. Alright, um... That's already not a good sign. Um, do you have the possible uh, manifest for the train? Let's know who the conductor is. Give him a call at his residence and whatnot. I gotta get that from the dispatcher. I figured. Uh, I'm gonna go take note of the locomotive uh, number and whatnot. I'm gonna try to get a positive ID on the train. Uh, what train number it was and what the uh, workload was supposed supposed to do. It looks like it's a six car train. Uh, five intermodal cars and then one tanker car, which possibly looks like it could have been a yard transfer. That's what I'm thinking. All right, man. I'm gonna go get an ID on the locomotive, and then we'll see if we can get a positive ID on the train symbol. All right, yeah, it's definitely smoking up a storm. It kind of took out the road underneath it, it looks like. Uh, looks like it's going to be the LS 2004. So, locomotive 2004. Yeah, it definitely took out the road underneath it. Almost took out a billboard, too. It would have been bad. Especially if that land... Not the billboard, the highway sign. If that actually fell on the tracks, that would have been bad. 
Yeah, you can see it's still smoking here at the bottom. Um, yeah, this is definitely not a great situation to be in. Um, we got the locomotive number. We're going to go call dispatch, the uh, train dispatcher. And we're going to see if we can get a uh, ID on the train symbol and who the conductor or engineer was. Because we don't know who this guy was, to be honest. He's unconscious right now, so. And yeah, that's... It's a very bad situation, but yeah, this is... Things that can happen if you don't pay attention. Like, you take a curve too fast, and boom, you're it's just like driving a car. You take a curve too fast, bam. Your car could tip over, you could tip over. And the same thing that can happen to a train, except it's ten times worse with a train, because you're carrying multiple things of, like, um, multiple, like multiple cars behind you. So we want to make sure that in that tanker car back there, there's nothing, like, hazardous that can spill, but... From what it looks like it's an empty, so the thing spilled. But, but yeah, we're gonna go get a positive ID on the train, see who, who the other crew member was, or if there was two other crew members or whatnot, because it doesn't look like there's anyone in the cab. But that's gonna go ahead and do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. A very short episode, not too much action packed. Just kind of had this skin and kind of wanted to show it off and try to figure out how I could show it off and whatnot, but then I found this train mod. So I decided that I'm just going to go be like, yo, I can do this and do this and use the pad and everything, so there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Smash that like button if you did. Drop a comment. Subscribe if you're brand new and you enjoy the content. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Join that Discord fan base server. Um, and yeah, like I and yeah, like I said, hope you all enjoyed. I don't never seen anything done like this before, so I think I'm actually the first one to actually show a train crash in LSPDFR like this. So hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, have a great rest of your day or night. Take care. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.